If you're looking to create stunning effects in Premiere Pro and don't know how, you should start with the basic transform effect. In this video, I will guide you on what the transform effect is, how to use the transform effect to create simple but stunning animations in Premiere Pro. So, without much further ado, let's get started with the video. Now in Premiere Pro, let's start by adding the transform effect. So, we select the image or the text or anything that you're working with. Go to the effects panel, then search transform. Double click to add it to the image or whatever you're working with. Under the effects controls, we are going to find the transform effect. And if you can't find the effects panel and the effect controls, what you need to do is you go under the windows tab, then you will find all of them here. So this is the effects controls. You click on it and the effects panel. Let's talk about the basic properties of the transform effect. We have the anchor point, then the position, which just moves the image around. Then we have the scale, which just reduces or increases the image. Then rotation, we can rotate the image and we have the opacity. Clicking on this arrow here will reset the parameter to its default value. Just in case you're working with the property and you want to go back to its default value, you can use this to reset it. Then we have the use compositions shooter angle. Let me expand this so you can see the value. So there you have it, the use compositions shooter angle. If you uncheck this and set this to 360, this will add some blurriness to the effect that you're working with. Now, let's create a text review animation using the transform property. So I'm going to delete the image, click on the text tool and just click on, let's say, hello. To position this text at the dead center of the image, I'm going to go on the essential graphics, select the text, click on this to center it vertically and this to center it horizontally. Now I'm going to go to the effects panel, search transform, double click to add it to the text layer. Under the effects controls, I'm going to set the first keyframe for the transform position and opacity. Hold the shift key and press the right arrow key to move five frames ahead. And I'm going to do that twice. Then set the second keyframe back to the first keyframe. I want to move this downward just a little bit like so. And for the opacity, I'm going to set this to zero. Move my playhead where the text will be visible. Scroll down to locate the opacity effect. And down here, we are going to click on this to create a mask. Then for the mask, we are going to move this a little bit, let's say here. Click on invert. On the mask feather, I'm going to increase this, like let's say around here. And if done correctly, you have something like this. But you can play around with the mask feather and the position of the mask to have a better looking result. The use of the mask is just to blur the text a little bit while it's being reviewed. Let's use the knowledge we know about the transform effect to create a transition. This time around, I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Selecting the adjustment layer, I'm going to double click on the transform effect. Under the effects controls, I'm going to set the first keyframe for the scale then rotation. While holding the shift key, I'm going to press the right arrow key once to move five frames ahead. Set the second set of keyframes and same thing to set the third set of keyframes. And back to the first keyframe, I'm going to set the scale to 300. And for the rotation, I'm going to set this to negative 30. And don't forget to uncheck the use composition's shooter angle and set the shooter angle to 360. Zoom in to see the keyframes clearly. For the second set of keyframes, set this to 150 and for the rotation, negative 15. And the last set of keyframes will remain at its default values. Select all of the keyframes, right click and hold. Now let's add another text that we are going to use to transition into. Select the adjustment layer. Make sure that my playhead is at the start of the first set of keyframes. Press C for the cut tool and cut this. Then move to the last keyframes. Cut the other end. Let me change the value of the second text to, let's say, editors. Position my playhead in between the two texts. Make sure that the adjustment layer is directly on top of them. And you're going to have a transition like this. Now I've seen that the transition is lovely and we want to save it for future use. You select the adjustment layer, then transform, right click on it and go to save preset. You can give it a name and we can call this scale, trans scale transition. Go under the effects panel, there you search the scale transition. And there you have it. You can save this to your computer so that you can send to your friend or someone that is in need of it by right clicking on it, then go to export presets. Then you give it the name, choose the location and save it. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.